Hey, what's going on guys, Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review at this 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport 2.0 Ultimate. So this is basically what the car looks like. This car does have the smart tailgate so I can have the key um, in my hand and if I stand here for a little bit of time, uh, the uh, trunk will open automatically. You do have a, quite a bit of uh, room uh, back there and you can go ahead and push this to go ahead and close the lift gate. Now this one does also have dual exhaust tips right there. So yeah, this is a very nice car. This car also has an option for car starter so we can press this once and we can also hold it the second time a little bit and this will go ahead and start the engine. As you guys can see, it will also let me know that it is started. And I can just go ahead and hold this and it'll go ahead and turn off the engine. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Now this car, the killer entry is not that if you put your hand behind the handle it'll unlock. You do have to push this once, you'll hear two beeps that indicates unlocking. So you can open the door to lock it, you can just push it once and now the doors are locked. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rear seat right over here. So this is what the rear door looks like. It opens very widely. You also get sunshade right over here. Rear heated seats. Very nice uh, handrest over here, like armrest. Nice and soft. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right inside. All right, put the seat belt on. and start the engine. So we have a push button start, put the foot on the brake, press the button to start the engine. This car also has the easy entry and exit. So I just went ahead and uh, moved my seat forward. So to my driving position, we also have two memory seats here. This one also has the smart cruise, which is basically a radar cruise control, which is very nice. Right here we have blind spot assist, lane departure warning, we have heated steering wheel. This car also has Apple CarPlay, so we can go ahead and plug in my iPhone example and, and get into it. Uh, automatic dual zone climate control. Down here you do have your heated seats as well as ventilated seats. Auto hold, electronic parking brake right over here. And passenger seat also has heated and ventilated seats. Uh, parking sensor off and this one is your 360 camera. I can put the car in reverse. We can see the uh, 360 camera showing right there and if let's say we're on drive it will go ahead and show you the front camera. This is how we can go ahead and control the middle screen right there so we can uh, go down like this to see some options. So there's the range we have trip A, trip B, and digital speedometer. We can use this to go to the next menus. So yeah, you have a lot of options here. You have your uh, smart cruise control, autonomous emergency braking, as well as the forward collision warning and rear cross traffic alert, which is very nice. And like I mentioned, blind spot assist as well. So it's very safe. Uh, you have all the safety technology in this car, which is nice. Also this beautiful uh, panoramic sunroof uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, put it in drive and get right into it. Now, this one here is a very comfortable SUV. Uh, it does have a lot of luxury features, such as the heated and ventilated seats, especially that you get heated seats in the rear is very nice. Uh, Apple CarPlay is also uh, great to get uh, with this car. I really love the dig digital speedometer. Um, as you guys know, um, I do have myself a 2018 Mercedes C300 4Matic sedan and uh, I did a video, the things I don't like about it and, and the first thing was I love the digital speedometer but what I don't like about it is that it kind of skips the numbers um, where this Hyundai example, it does show you all the digits of the numbers so which is very very nice so you can see when I accelerate it is showing me all the numbers instead of skipping the numbers so this car also has the um, 
fog light switch here so if you basically look at this if you push this it kind of goes back to its spot so you can basically just twist it once and it just returns back to its original spot so it doesn't stay there which is quite cool so it does uh, accelerate very uh, reasonably I don't find it slow whatsoever it's uh, very good especially once you put it in sport mode you do have a driving uh, select button there so it will take you from eco uh, to sport mode and stuff I'm driving this right now on normal so I was about to say like comfort because that's what uh, Mercedes puts it as uh, but it is uh, relatively quick it is not slow I don't feel like it doesn't have enough power uh, the handling also feels very good as you guys can probably tell um, in sport mode uh, it does um, give you more uh, responsiveness uh, through this uh, button right over here so if I go ahead and push it you can see right now we're on eco and then this will put us in sport and uh, the throttle here is a lot more uh, responsive whenever uh, you are on that mode right there again this car has blind spot assist so if there was a car beside me it would indicate it with a audible warning as well that mirror there would show me a light now taking a look at the smart cruise control so if I go ahead and uh, push the button here and I hit set you can see we can go ahead and set the uh, smart cruise uh, which right now we have the full uh, length of the car in front of me we can adjust that with this button here as you can see over there it is uh, changing the distance the following distance now no one's next to me so if I were to uh, kind of get out of my lane a little bit it should indicate a warning now it does not steer me back into my lane you could see that blind spot there light up because the truck was um, in my blind spot but yeah so it does warn you with an audible warning uh, when you are not in your lane uh, but unlike my other car uh, the Jeep SRT I used to own it does not steer you back into the lane so you will you know uh, steer off the lane where the Jeep SRT would put me back into my lane uh, but again better than nothing um, so yeah right now we are cruising on the smart cruise as you can see we're still traveling at 100 kilometers an hour and this car in front of me uh, starts to get a bit slower and uh, we are basically automatically matching their speed now there's a car next to me my lane is ending so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, indicate and you could see uh, it was basically giving me an audible warning that there was a car in my blind spot and uh, once we do uh, get back into normal driving I can go ahead and hit resume here on the steering wheel and we will basically go back into my original uh, set limit which was 100 kilometers an hour and it does show you over there uh, what's the limit that you have set So that's in sport mode you can see the rpms um, are going a lot higher um, rpm so you can hear the engine uh, a lot more so if we want to control the climate control we do have a button here so i can just uh, go ahead and press this and we can have a nice uh, bigger version of the uh, display here to go ahead and control the climate control another thing let's say with the climate control um, if you do have the um, map open example and you want to adjust your climate control you can see it does kind of show you on the top there um, your climate control settings as well so if you adjust your temperature you'll adjust it right there as well so you don't have to go into the climate screen in order to see uh, what you're doing it basically automatically does it for you it just overlays on the map and this guy is crossing the street without activating the pedestrian lights good job buddy now driving this car on the eco mode does feel relatively um, comfortable and uh, responsive especially for city driving um, but if you want to feel like driving this uh, on like the 
most responsive way, I guess, is sport mode. But if you want like the sport and and comfortable uh, ride, you do want to drive this car on just normal. Uh, so normal is, I guess, when it doesn't show eco or sport. So it just basically does what you need it to do. And uh, yeah, so it's very comfortable on any mode, honestly, uh, driving this car. Now looking down here, uh, we do have the. Uh, two cigarette lighter ports right down there and then you also get a USB as well as the auxiliary port for you know the USB for the Apple CarPlay and stuff but yeah you can see again I'm on this road and it's very nice to have your navigation telling you that the speed limit on the road is 60 kilometers an hour and there's auto hold so right now I don't have my foot on the brake and it says it has auto hold enabled so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.